Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'd like to share with you how I made these really pretty mosaic wall sconces using items that I purchased from Dollar Tree. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. For each wall sconce, I used four of the Dollar Tree eight x 10 mirrors, some broken mirror that I had from a previous project, some mirror mosaic stickers, one of these glass tea light candle holders, some duct tape, foam board, as well as my E6000 hot glue gun and glue sticks. I'll leave the complete list of everything that I used down in the description box. For this project, I'm again using some of the eight foot insulation foam board that you guys have seen me use before. I purchased this from Home Depot and I use it over multiple projects. I cut out a piece that would fit three of the eight by 10 mirrors without their frames. And that's what I used for this project. Here, I am covering the rough edges of my foam board with my reflective duct tape. I then ran my hot glue gun across the edges of the duct tape to ensure that the tape does not lift over time. I used a combination of E6000 and hot glue to attach three of the 8x10 mirrors to my foam board. I then cleaned my mirrors and then I used just the E6000 to attach the fourth mirror on top. I then used a small amount of the E6000 to attach the broken mirror pieces around my center mirror. I'm using broken mirror pieces that came from about six of the Dollar Tree round mirrors. In order to make two of these wall sconces, you'll need between seven to eight Dollar Tree mirrors.
I considered using the glass of three of the 8x10 picture frames to cover up my mosaic pieces. I would just have to use a glass cutter to cut off the access. However, I did not like the lines that would be visible in the center of my wall sconce, so I opted not to proceed with this step. You could always get a piece of glass custom cut to fit over your wall sconce if you are not comfortable leaving the mosaic pieces exposed. I repeated those steps to make a second wall sconce and I allowed both pieces to dry for two hours. Next, I use some of the E6000 to attach single strips of my mirror mosaic stickers along the sides of each of my wall sconces. I then used a generous amount of the E6000 to attach my glass candle holders. I then allow both pieces to dry overnight. I then used a thick cleaning cloth to remove the fingerprints and the lint from my mirror and my mirror mosaic pieces. To hang my wall sconces, I used the Velcro command strips, and here was my finished look. As you can see, I decided to add some of the mosaic stickers to the top and bottom of my candle holder, and I think that these wall sconces turned out beautiful. I've made several wall sconce designs for my home, but I think that this mosaic wall sconce is one of my favorites. But what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. interested in seeing me pick up some of the supplies used for this project then check out my second channel dazzling designs by denise up close and personal i'll leave a link to my second channel below did you like this week's video if so please like comment and share and if you're new to my channel please subscribe and be sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my next video remember i upload new videos every single week so until next time guys bye